my PhD research focused on malaria, specifically assessing the response of malaria infections in patients to anti-malarial drugs. And it was a part of exchange training program between Sweden and Somalia. Today I work with the Malaria Global Program at the World Health Organization in Geneva. I still continue to work on malaria issues. My background is Somali. I'm from big family, eldest of 10. I graduated from medical school in Somalia as a medical doctor. The journey of my research work started one year after graduating the medical school when I participated a short course on laboratory diagnostics organized by a Swedish team who came to Somalia. At the end of that course, I was chosen to join um, a master program in Sweden. And I, that actually was the basis continuing to my PhD at KI. In my spare time, I like listening to Somali music to keep the memory of all good old days but always very difficult to get time. And uh, I just concentrate actually helping my children with the school lessons and all this, so I don't have much time. I hope when they grow up and they go to university, I will have the time to enjoy. My PhD studies at KI was a sandwich program, where half of my time I will spend in Somalia teaching and collecting data for the research, and the other half spend it in Stockholm at KI to work on the laboratory, data analysis, paper writing, and attending courses. The supervision, uh, I had an unlimited interaction with my supervisor. We stayed in the same lab, so it was very easy for me to pop in any time. He was very kind supervisor, and I owe him what I learned today a lot. And I wish him to see him. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Hello, Hello Marion. <laughs> oh, great to see you. <laughs> The role models for my research first was my mother. Not because she went to school and did PhD, but because for her hard working and determination. Also, my supervisor, Anders Björkman, was my role model. And the third person is Gunnar Hund, who really was the mentor for me during my stay in my PhD program. In here. Achieving my PhD at Karolinsk Institute was the foundation of my career, both in Sweden, when I worked at the Department of International Health here at KI, as well as to my work in Tanzania and my current job at WHO. Clinical practice and research are complementary. Research identifies gaps and finds solutions, and it informs the clinical practice. So both of them are important as important. Ten years from now, I will be close to my retirement. And I have two things in my mind. One is to help the capacity of Somalia. Try to strengthen research and capacity, build the capacity of a new generation. The second is very important is is also to write about my journey from Somalia to Sweden.